What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, this is it. This is the last video of the first list. The next video that I'll put out will be the second list. Now that we've worked our way through this first list, I hope you all have enjoyed it. It's been really fun for me to get to know some Swedish songs, and now I know what people like. I know I kind of got, of got uh, an idea of what Swedish classics are. So it's gonna be fun to grab a few more songs and keep this thing going. On the video, I like for you all to put songs that aren't on the list that you'd like for me to do. And then we'll make a third list, and we'll just keep this thing going. All right, but first, we must react to Varning Poston, the third, I believe, the third song I'll be doing by Magnus Ugla. He's one of the most requested artists uh, that I get from people very regularly. What I know about Magnus Ugla so far is that he doesn't have the best singing voice, but he seems to be uh, aware, socially aware, and uh, a pretty fun person that can make some catchy songs. So I'm interested to hear what this sounds like. Varning Poston. A little bit about the song. It was released in 1977 on the album <laughs> Voska man ta livet av sig för när man ändå inte får höra snacket efteråt. Which shows that this guy has a, a sense of humor with that long ass title and basically saying, why kill yourself? when you don't even get to hear what people say afterwards. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, this song peaked at number two on the Swedish charts. Fun fact, because of the song, Swedish radio was reported to Radio Nemden as vulgar and sexist. Uh, <laughs> if only they heard the music that was gonna come a few, few years later. <laughs> I guess back then you were able to just report to them, hey man, I can't believe they're playing this for people. Uh, how can they do that? From what I read, that Radio Nemden doesn't exist anymore, so, which is a good thing. Jeez. I wish America will follow suit and get rid of the FCC. Why are they trying to control what people uh, say and, and, uh, and present in media? Anyway, that's another whole video there. There's an English version of the song and it's called Hit the Girls on the Run, which sounds very wholesome and not problematic at all. Can't imagine uh, how bad this song could be <laughs> as far as the standards today. <laughs> With all that said, it's time for me to dig in and react to the final song on the first list and prepare to go on to the second list. So here we go. Magnus Ugla, Varning, Poston. This is great right away, man. He's just starting off talking about how drunk he is. <laughs> and they're just about to go ham. This is like the, the pregame. I'm about to go nuts today. Let's go. <laughs> I can see this. I can see why they're offended by that. <laughs> he is just giving, he's just like, gives, this is what we would call today, 
given no fucks at all. Wow. It goes with today's music, actually, <laughs> the way these, uh, the young folks do it nowadays. <laughs> smoothly into the chorus with the, you know, the winding it down, and then let's go, let's go, <laughs> building it right back up. <laughs> I love it. Nice. <laughs> that was Varning Postan by Magnus Ugla. That was a good one to end though, man. It was uh, it was fun, it was upbeat, it was uh, by today's terms it would be called problematic, but I think it was just a fun song and he was trying to push buttons most likely. Uh, and it's showing the uh, idiocy of uh, young dudes trying to go out and have fun. <laughs> and locker room talk. Oh no, not locker room talk. <laughs> it was fun, man. I like it a lot. Varning Poston. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, the last song from the first list. And now we have completed it. I'm really proud of myself for getting through it. And for you as the viewer, uh, I've gotten so many more followers and subscribers and whatnot. So thank you all for checking these out. And please continue with me on this journey as I learn more about Swedish culture through the music because there's a lot more to come. So let me know what you've thought so far after this first list. Um, I do not care if you think a song is a classic or not. Sorry, man. Give me some more stuff, man. Let me know what you think about the songs. Let me know what you think about this video series. Let me know what songs you think would be fun to see me experience for the first time. This has been really fun. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, spread the word. Let other people know about this video series that's going on, that this American comedian that lives in Sweden, understands the language, is checking out classic Swedish songs on his YouTube channel. Uh, maybe your friends would be interested in that. Let them check it out, and uh, hopefully they can join me on this journey as well. I appreciate all of the viewers. I appreciate all of the suggestions, and I will see you next classic. Peace.